If you're wondering how to get that perfect crispy pizza crust, you're in luck because everybody loves pizza during summertime. So come on, grab a slice. Hi, and welcome back to Plating It With Wendy, where I share with you recipes which are press with these. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, share, and comment. And if you enjoy trying out recipes that turn out right every time, you're at the right place. So go ahead, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you hit the bell icon, you'll be the first to get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. To make that perfect pizza dough, we're going to go in with 3 4 cup of warm water. And you want the temperature to be between 100 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. And to that, we're going to add 2 teaspoons of white granulated sugar. And the yeast is going to feed off the sugar and activate. And now we're going to add 2 and a quarter teaspoons of dry active yeast. And let's give this a quick stir and we're going to keep it aside in a warm place so that the yeast gets a chance to activate. Now while the yeast is doing its thing, let's measure out our dry ingredients. We're going to go in with two cups of all-purpose flour and to that we're going to add one teaspoon of sugar and one teaspoon of salt. We're going to give that a quick mix with our dough hook and get it well blended together. Now that the yeast has got activated and has frothed up well, we're going to add this in to the dry ingredients. And with our mixer on slow, we're going to start blending it all together. Gradually, we're going to increase the speed till we get a soft dough. Now, sometimes the dough might be a little bit dry or it might be a little bit sticky. So you can add in either a little bit more water or a little bit more flour. Since my dough was looking a little bit dry, I decided to add in two and a half tablespoons of water and I'm going to continue mixing it till I get that lovely soft dough. If you're using a stand mixer like I am doing, it's going to take you about four to five minutes to get that perfect dough. But if you're kneading it by hand, it's going to take you about 10 to 12 minutes and a little bit of muscle. But don't worry, you can skip the gym for one day. Once the dough is ready, you're going to dust your work surface with a little all-purpose flour, toss the dough onto it, and then start working on the dough by pulling it down to the center on all sides. Now we're going to take a large bowl, pour in some olive oil, brush the bowl at the bottom and to the top with the olive oil and we're going to place the dough into it. We're going to take the dough, place it face side down in the olive oil, roll it around so that the top gets coated with the olive oil, then flip it over and now we're going to cover the bowl with a plastic wrap and place it in our oven for about two hours so that the dough gets a chance to rise. We're only going to keep the light of the oven on so that the dough gets that warmth of the light which will help it to rise. When it's just about time for our dough to be ready, let's grate some cheese. So I'm going in with about three to 400 grams of mozzarella cheese and I'm going to grate it on a thick grate. Now you could go in with either more or less depending upon how cheesy you want your pizza to be. Now that our dough has well risen, we're going to pretend we're in a pizzeria in Italy and we're going to generously dust our work surface with all-purpose flour before tossing on our dough into it. Now using three fingers, we're going to start pressing down on the dough and gradually increasing it in size. And we're going to go towards the sides, spreading the dough out on the sides as well. To form that crusty edge, we're going to take two fingers of our right hand and we're going to start pressing it down while using our left hand to keep it in place. And we're going to go right round the dough, turning it as we require. And once we've got that edge created, we're going to use both our hands to start stretching out the center of the dough till we have that desired thin crust that we want. Now we're going to quickly pick that up and flip that over onto our pizza pan. To get that crispy outer edge, we're going to brush the edge with some olive oil. And for the toppings, we're first going to go in with some tomato sauce. And I'm using a store-bought sauce here. And we're just going to add in just about one third cup of the sauce because we want that crispy pizza. We don't want a soggy pizza. And we're going to put spoonfuls and then spread it all around the base. And now let's take that cheese that we had shredded earlier and spread it around. Now you could use any toppings that you liked, but I'm just going in for that simple cheese topping. And once we have an even layer of the cheese, we're gonna pop it into our oven, which we have preheated 
at 475 degrees Fahrenheit or 246 degrees Celsius. I'm going to bake it for approximately 15 to 18 minutes or until the cheese has melted and we have a lovely crispy crust. Now look at that. I can't wait to cut it and grab a slice. So now I'm going to grab my pizza cutter and cut it into eight bits so that I can share it with my family. I would love to know what are your favorite toppings when you eat pizza. So leave me a comment below and let me know. Oh my goodness. Look at that perfect dough and cheesy slice. Now, if you can see, I've already tasted the pizza. I just could not wait, but I give it another taste just for you. Wow, <laughs> it's really irresistible. Mm. See that beautiful crust that we have? It's got that lovely golden color and even the back of it, it's baked so well and crispy. I just can't stop eating this. I'm telling you, it's really good. And I hope you give it a try. So hop onto my website, platingitwithwendy.com, or you can hit on the link in the description box below for the full written recipe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.